Hello, you are watching Unipro Eugene podcast. Here we discuss the hottest topics introduced by our users and show the helpful ways of using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. In Eugene, you can search for restriction enzymes cut sites in a DNA sequence. Today we will use restriction enzymes plugin to perform such a search. Let's open a DNA sequence, for example, another Influenza h one and one DNA researching result. When the download is finished, we see the annotated sequence. To evoke the plugin, we activate context menu and select Analyze Restriction Sites. Let's consider the available options here. First of all, we can specify the enzyme's file, pressing the corresponding button. Eugene distributives contain two recent enzymes database files, the full and T2 versions of Rebase database. We choose the full one. The opened enzymes are represented at this table. Here we can unfold an enzyme's group, see the detailed information of the enzymes and select the enzymes to search for by checking their checkboxes. Select all, select none and invert selection buttons help to specify the selection and the save selection button allows us to save the specified selection for later use. The numbers after a group name is a pair of the currently selected enzymes number and the group capacity. If we press select all, we can see that all the group's numbers become equivalent. Now we press select none. If we need more detailed information of the concrete enzyme, we can select the desired enzyme with mouse. Then pressing the Rebase Info button will lead us to opening a Rebase web page with detailed information of the enzyme. Let's finally select enzymes to search for. Note that the selected enzymes are enumerated in the list at the text box located below the selection table. Further, we can specify the sequence region to search in and set the results number filter. If the filter is active, then we will only get the results whose number exceeds the minimal value and is less than the maximum value. Finally, we need to specify an annotation table to save the results into. We will save the results into a new file and enter enzyme's name for the results group. Click Run. The new document containing all the results annotations is added to the annotations editor. And we can see the results annotations sorted by enzymes and the panoramic view. Let's select some enzyme from the annotations editor. We can see it selected at both panoramic and detailed view. We also see two triangles near it at the detailed view. They represent the enzyme cut sites. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.